The Sports Report is brought to you by Eastside Pizza and Deli, Vital Care Ambulance Service, and the Diner on Jack's Pro Pack. We all know that the diner has fantastic food. We know it's always hot, fresh, and fast to your table every day. But did you know that the diner offers cupcake of the day? Next time you visit the diner on Jack's Pro Pack, be sure to ask for not only the luncheon special, but ask for the cupcake of the day. That's only at the diner on Jack's Pro Pack. Home of great food, great people, and great service. Home of the champions is the Campbell County High School Cougars. The freshman Cougars team won the Anderson County Tournament. The Lady Cougars won the Gatlinburg Pittman Tournament. And now the Cougars are the champions of the Lenore City Tournament. Congratulations to all three. The Cougars won and are champions in the Lenore City Christmas Tournament. More recently, Corey Poteet poured in 27 points. Nick Litton added 20 on a bum ankle. Tyler Chapman had six points, Trey Torres and Tuffy Shoup added four each, and Jordan Kendrick had two and played great defense. It started out a game of runs for the Lions of Columbia Central, but our boys hung on and took the lead. In the second quarter, the first quarter ended up all tied up at 16, but when halftime rolled around, it was 34 to 27 Cougars. The Lions came out the second half of Roaring with another run. But we stayed right there with them late in the game. They tied it up at 49 all, then took a one point lead, but couldn't hold it and we jumped back on top, never giving up the lead again. Early in the second half though, Nick Litton left the game with a left ankle injury. He had 16 points and Tyler Chapman fouled out at the 251 mark of the fourth quarter. But late in the fourth, Nick came back in. Ankle heavily taped and all, and he scored four more big baskets and had two key turnovers to win the game. 19 of 21 from the line is what won it for us, according to Matt Housley. Funny thing though, there was no all-tournament team in this one. I don't know why, but anyway, the Cougars have won four straight games and have some much-needed momentum as they get ready for Clinton on January the 3rd in Clinton. First-rate service, quick response time, and special care. Don't trust just anyone. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. And if I were you, I would choose Vital Care Ambulance Service. Call on us at Vital Care. We accept most major insurance. Sometimes the decisions you make mean life or death. Make Vital Care your choice. Your life could depend on it. The Blue Devils didn't win their tournament in the Seymour Christmas Tournament, but did win their last two games, winning the other night in overtime as we told you Friday and on Friday they won big over Kings Academy 53 to 36 it was 24 to 15 at the end of one it was 53 to 36 at the half and you could feel the Blue Devils pulling away in this one and by the time the fourth quarter came around coach Mike Reynolds had played everybody he didn't play his starters for almost the entire fourth quarter as they were up huge at one point 48 to 18 Cody Malico had 17 points while Matt Bolton was red hot with 13 big points. Many others had two and three points. Congratulations though to Cody Malicote and Justin Bolin on being selected to their all-tournament team. Now they will get ready and get back into district play at home against Coalfield and that's on January the 3rd as well. And don't forget you can follow both the Blue Devils and the Cougars on our website 1450WLAF.com. New at Eastside Pizza and Deli in the Food Land Shopping Center, 7-inch personal size pizza plus your choice of Coke or Pepsi products for only $3.99 plus tax. Can't eat a big pizza? Then try our new 7-inch personal size pizza along with our other great pizzas, pasta, salads, sandwiches, and so much more at Eastside Pizza and Deli, 563-7090. We told you Friday that the Campbell County Youth Basketball League would go at it this weekend, but they canceled it again due to it being the New Year's Eve, so I guess they'll pick it up again this Saturday, we hope. But we do know the Tri-City Basketball League had their sign-ups this past Saturday from 1 to 4 at Valley View School. They tell me right now they have over 20 teams, but they only have one 5- and 6-year-old team. Teams from Claiborne County, Speedwell, Pow Valley, and Parts Unknown, well, not really right here at home, will compete. Now they will kick off their season with a tournament and it will be the last weekend in January. $20 per player was taken up Saturday. Now that covers the entire season with a team shirt and trophy and all of it. 
I ran into one of the players who will be playing in the Tri-City Basketball League. She plays in the middle school division, Brittany Cut. Remember that name. She's a sixth grader, she's about five foot ten, and is already playing on the varsity for Powell Valley. Now we'll tell you more about Brittany on Wednesday Sports Report. Okay, that's all we've got for you today. Please go see our sponsors, East Side Pizza and Deli. Vital Care Ambulance Service and the Diner on Jacksboro Pike. Hey, you keep it right here. There's a lot more to come on WLAF.